and the compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to shame us? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh... You have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. I am always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy. You're here rather often, Sir Ahawk. A good influence, I think. You started something, helping me as you did. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. The Arishok asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. And you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so... compelling. Another time, when things are better. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, 
I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people. Not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen? I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. I like the doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Rife, rife, rife. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. 
<laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me. His little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. Isabella. You look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes, that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. I could go into business for myself. You must have pointers on that, don't you, Varric? A business is like a puppy. Take your eyes off it, and soon there's shit all over your floor. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. 
and I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger is made of my friend. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can, but this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. I thought it would end here. Young Master Hawk destroyed Flint Company. None remain. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Carry on. I love to eavesdrop. Hawk said sarcastically. You know I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. Is there any peaceful way to resolve this? If you treat the Harrimans like those mercenaries, you could start a war. Go carefully, Sebastian. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. You are Hawk. A patrol went missing along the wounded coast. The Arashok says you have some semblance of honor. So tell me, did you kill them? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I believe you. If you are not responsible, I waste my time here. Sirrah Hawk. Messer? Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Sounds like the recovery should be worth something to me. A thousand lives. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. So, how dangerous does this fake mixture become? It is not a threat to Kunari. For your kind, it is as dangerous as those who breathe it. Can you elaborate? The gas kills, but first it turns allies against their own in blind rage. So, the greater the skill of those sent against us, the more dangerous they become to their own people. Hard to control at the best of times. It is no longer our problem. I barely spoke to you three years ago. Why give me this warning? You are capable. But I have yet to decide if you are capable of understanding. Save your streets from this fool dwarf. Then we will talk. So you just leave the decoy laying around? We did not make it easy. Three Kunari died defending it. Enough to impart a sense of worth. If the real formula were at risk, the Kuhn would demand that we protect it to the last of us. It took Javaris long enough to come up with this. Are you sure it was him? 
Others have asked for the Gatlock, but only he chose to delude himself beyond no. Is three years so long to a hateful fool? I have no way of understanding such weakness. His crime seems obvious. Further evidence could be the deaths of many. I wouldn't wait. Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rook some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. Panahedon, Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. That's strange. The door's wide open. And not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. More, you lazy son of a bitch! What's taking so long? Flora? Why does no one in this house care what I want? More wine, or I swear I will drown you in the dregs. She doesn't even see us. This is no normal wine. More locks. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur. There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't. You'll kill her. He can't hear me. be the one. We must end this madness. I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No apologies necessary. No. The feather. Use the feather. Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me. That's a great line. I should use that. Oh, I could get it embroidered on my blouse. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. That's my kind of prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Turn back. There is nothing here for you. Odd. 
When we watched you being a drunken ass, you ignored us completely. You shall not enter. We must see what greater evil they were protecting. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop? We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. There's a lot riding on finding Javaris. Can you help? The members of our little fellowship expect privacy, but... He skipped out on paying me, too. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cup if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's Sea, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silvers standard for a whore. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands, the same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You and Lady Harriman are fighting for the same thing, aren't you? Regaining my birthright is hardly the same as stealing it from another. But you want it. You had resigned yourself to letting your brother rule. Yet now, that seat glitters before you. You've always wanted it. You needn't deny it any longer. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Calm yourself, Javaris. You're not dead yet. You? 
Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. What in blazes are you talking about? Wait, you don't know? Then what? You're tracking for the Kunari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. The obvious thief was perhaps a bit too obvious. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. If you're innocent, you could plead your case to the Arashok. Let's break this down. An elf with explosives wants me dead. Part two, the Kunari may think I'm a thief and also want me dead. Either option seem promising? Didn't think so. Here, you want to drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in low town. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Better luck wherever you're bound, Javaris. The farther, the better. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sodding bunch of... Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord in rotors. Sebastian, I am so, so sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do, what those creatures made us do. We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The Desire Demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No. That's true. I'll tell you when I need you. All of you, I can't fight the damned air. You want to live, stay out. What's going on, Mason? Guard, Captain. There's... I can't even describe. On your time, son. Reports of some haze with a stench of rust and throw-up. There was a cloud, then a lingering mist. Anyone caught in the cloud just went mad. Then the others just wretched themselves dead. All right, keep your post. We'll take it from here. He's a good man. Trust that it's as bad as he says. Let's hope this elf didn't try to make enough powder to sell. Didn't sound like a merchant to me. Let's go. We need to stop this mist. Find the sword. This should do the trick on those barrels.
sure how much we can do for these people. Easy. I'm just trying to find out what happened. Is that... Sarah Hawk? You have enemies. I'm glad it's you, really. These poor people. You are a much better target. So, care to explain your particular brand of crazy? Kanari, take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kune for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Canary Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong. Which of my people put you up to the theft? It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. Shock was right and wrong. You'll need to know about this. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demons touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be Prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will. At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. 
I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. If you want to help me, do it because we're friends. There's no debt between us. You have a good soul, Hawk. It was truly the Maker who led you to me. So, I was wrong about our thief. It appears so. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you won't talk straight, then we won't talk. Hold! Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turn from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. Why aren't you more concerned about her supporters? Our enemies strike from shadow because they cannot stand before us. This is not a revelation. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's been a long time. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You keep going on about that, but never say anything. Should I argue the wind? Very well. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek, years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolic until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. He's on the edge. The Viscount should know. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company mercenaries had it. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. 
What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them, to save them. I know. You're a true friend, Hawk. You brought me this to remember and honor them. But if I could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half, I'd do it without regrets. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Kunari were blameless. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. Keep the worst of them off his back, and it'll be all right. But that is the problem. It has already escalated, despite your efforts. A shame. What happened? A Kunari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all, but that is neither here nor there. Has anyone reported this to the Canari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The Arishok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arishok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing. The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard, unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. A hanged man. Hanged man. Got to be. Right. Then you know what to look for. 
I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? You can't see it, but below deck there's a perfect replica of you with a dozen sailors in attendance. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. What do you want, Hawk? I have no interest in adding to my distractions. And yet you sent a delegate to the Viscount. A brief attempt to educate. If the Dwarf had stolen the Sarkamek, it could have been used to show the price of greed. But you know the outcome of that. These fools are determined to be wrong. I won't waste the effort again. A courtesy, Arashok. The delegate and his guards are missing. Anyone else? And those words would have been their last. You are handling this, not your buffoon of a Viscount. I am. Then I will wait. But know this. The provocations we have suffered have worked. If this is not resolved, I can fulfill my duty to the Kune with far less annoyance by sifting through rubble. As there wasn't enough pressure. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's him. My own living, breathing, slobbering status symbol. The dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heed and oxmen. Guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honour of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar, I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh -huh. hmm. There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal, no less. Well done. So you're taking the Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding zealots? It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Some days, Hawk. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. A Templar may have misjudged an order, and abused the Grand Cleric's authority. I assure you, the Templars would never embarrass the Chantry, at risk of the Knight Commander's wrath. Men were hired for the righteous task of kidnapping a Kunari delegate. 
A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game for the moment. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sir Varnell! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them! attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. The Chantry has seen the abuses the Templars get away with. Why would they not think to do the same? You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. I understand. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the Delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? 
hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, Kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elvin, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. That's generous of you. What's coin if not for spending, eh? You could save up to buy yourself a new ship. There you go, ruining our fun with good sense. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. That's mildly insulting, you know. You know what I mean. You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade? I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. This is hardly my area of expertise, but is there anything I can do? Marath Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainreal back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. You'll need someone experienced in the Fade to come with you. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Dupuy. That's a funny name. It's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. 
Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals, and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will, without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers, and slay them in their dreams. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. Is Fainreel in danger? Indeed. And the danger may not come from what you think. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. That is Fainriel's greatest fear. I won't be the one to make it come true. I have no choice but to leave it in your hands. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual. And I promise I, I won't be a bother. Let us begin.
I had not thought to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainville's mind straining. We will not have much time. Oh. It's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, a fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one. But it has potential. A demon of sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. Speak, but I promise nothing. I trust you're here for the mage, Fainrail. Two of the most powerful demons in this realm are vying for control of him. Sadly, I'm no warrior. I couldn't stand up to them. But if I did, I'd only want the boy's power to secure my position in the Fade. Don't listen to him. Sloth demons prey on your trust. I'd be no threat to your world. What sort of creatures are menacing Fenriel? There is a demon of desire called Caress. She ensnares him in dreams of bliss from which he will not emerge. The other is a creature of pride known as Rhyme. It offers Fainriel the power to control his life and world. Is there still time to save him? He suffers under the demon's assault. Every time they strain his connection to the mortal world, his mind breaks a little further. The pain of it shakes this entire realm. What would it take to defeat these demons? They each weave an illusion for Fainrael. You must help him reject it. But be cautious. Shatter the dream too quickly and his mind will break. He must reach the realization on his own. So if I help you possess Fainrael, you won't attack Kirkwall? We are drawn to the mortal realm to merge with a living soul. Once I have done so, what need will I have for your people? I merely want power against my own kind. This is a monster! It asks you to sacrifice an innocent to its ambition. Ignore this tiresome little spirit. I ask only what it has already taken. A willing merger with a human host. Do not work with this creature. I will stop you. I will hear no more of this demon. Have it your way. That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietha, father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, mother? Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone, so she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? This is a trick, Fenrir. He wants something from you. Why... That's right. I spent my whole childhood waiting for you. Your mother never allowed. My mother loves me. She showed me the letters she wrote you. You never wrote back. And it was Mother who taught me to write, not you. I've never met you before. Who are you? Don't... question... me. Ah! You... you turned 
turned him against me. Complete accident. I was trying to help. Honest. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine? Square main topsail? A hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim? I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Hmm. Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back? Or would you rather it be a surprise? You are just the sweetest. The silence call to awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats. I cannot lie. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. Your magic will restore our greatness. But, but you told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Even the Dalish don't practice it anymore. Could the Elves trust you with the power to shape reality? I... Could you trust yourself? Don't listen to him. The First Enchanter is trying to keep you from realizing your greatness. Trying to keep me from temptation. Just like you were. You're not the keeper. Be gone, fiend. You. Why did you interfere? With my power joined to his, Fainreel would have changed the world. Have you ever seen an abomination? They are ugly. You put such stock in appearances. Perhaps that is why your friend's loyalty only goes skin deep. You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elvenkind. Can you do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. All right, when he puts it that way. I cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Go down! I'm not sure if this is real. 
If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. Dreamers control the fade and the dreams of people in it. I see why the Chantry fears us. I've heard tales of Magisters who stalk their enemies and use their own dreams to destroy them. You're right. I must master it. Find someone to study under. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Fainriel. Perhaps there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainriel has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. Gods raiding the estate met that particular reception. Gasgard went to a great deal of trouble for something. Gasgard be inquiring about escaped mages from Starkhaven. Clever. He stopped Emmerich from investigating by getting Meredith on his side. clothing. Perhaps they were taken off the murdered women. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. 
I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <laughs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. I can help you track down your sister's killer. No, I can manage on my own. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. You didn't betray me. The demon made you do it. I should have recognized I was being manipulated. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it. But I just... had to. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic. I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Perhaps you're mistaken. I am not mistaken. You sent him a message a half hour ago. Look. I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding.
some mage sent that thing here to kill him? Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? I can't be certain of anything. Gaspard may have tricked me. Then we need to find him. Do you know where he is? He didn't tell me where he was going. Let's hope he's not the killer, then. We'll track Gaspard down, just to be safe. My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gaspard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. We need to talk. Oh, bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. You mean you weren't ready to jump into bed before? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> I'm far too predictable. Lieutenant Harley? Aveline? Thank the Maker. I take it you know each other. Harley is one of the Guard, recently promoted. This disaster is my first routine assignment. We're not reinforcements if that's what you were waiting for. Bollocks! Little Bedham must not have made it back. We're up against Evett's Marauders. You're certain about that? Phil Auden's up there, and Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. We tried two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God Dog! You brought friends! Shut your mouth! <laughs> Fell Orden, Victor Longdeath, what are you talking about? They've been robbing and raping for Maker knows how long. Did a broad daylight assault on the keep to rescue one of their number two years back. Fell Orden, a blood mage, is here. Victor Longdeath, Sophie. Maker, you certainly drew a fine first detail. Isn't it suicide to stay pinned down here? We're pinned down right now, but so are they. If we run, Everett's Marauders escape again. So we've been waiting for reinforcements. Victor's arrows and Orden's fireballs taking their toll. But we can still take them down. The longer we wait, the more of us they'll kill. Let's attack now. I'm with you, but my men may be too rattled to join us. Evitz Marauders, they're just men, flesh and bone. Flesh can be torn, bones can be broken. Alone, they will pick you off one by one. Together, we are unstoppable! On me! You'd make a fine captain of the guard. Look out for traps. Be careful. Evert's mortars are deadly.
about. <laughs> that should be the last of them. They're all dead? I... I can't believe it. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. I'll make sure he rewards you. Good work yourself, Lieutenant. Make sure the others know it. Men! We're heading home! Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. They killed a lot of good people. They won't kill anyone else, thanks to you. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitz, wasn't there, was he? No, they were led by Fel Orden. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. Good to know. I'll keep an eye out for him. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle and sister. I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar and the sea and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. That was an interesting diversion. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? Love? <laughs> we were ratting. It has nothing to do with love. It's not always up to you. Love can be pretty persistent. I don't care. It can go pester someone else. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything. A prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. Your marriage was loveless, and you've never experienced true love. <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again, and I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. Love them and leave them, eh? That's right. He should have known better. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just... easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? You're much prettier. Oh, 
You're too kind. Is it... Is it warm in here? Stop bubbling, Mera. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things. But we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvian. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvian. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathan. This is a piece of our history. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'll go with you. Master Aranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Keeper, you return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Hello again, Keeper. Don't you look lovely? My apologies, Hawk. Be welcome among the Dalish. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sula Varnan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. What did Merrill invoke? Our history belongs to all Dalish child, so our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Merrill has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Merrill. I'm glad that Merrill has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch us. <laughs> Yeah. 
Valondine guide you, Lethalan. What were the hunters doing in here? The Keeper would have sent them to recover elven artifacts from the Varterol before the camp had to move in again. So your Keeper sent them to their deaths? No. Normally they let the Dalish come and go as we please. Something must have provoked it. Is someone there? It's safe. You can come out. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Meryl couldn't hurt you if she tried. At worst, she might make frowny faces. She'll do worse than hurt me. Don't you know what she is? Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him. Hurry! Paul, we're coming. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can get him to the Keeper. She can heal almost anything. He's dead. There's nothing a healer can do now. Do you need a minute alone? No. Thank you. I... We have too much to do for me to sit here bawling. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerim and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... Something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. The Varteral is dead. Masaranus, I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Varteral. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There is no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, 
don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. What did the Keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't, just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor? Perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I know someone who might be able to help. Gascard Dupuis. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Hawk, I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. I'm sensitive, handsome and supportive. What else could you possibly want? Nothing. Oh, not that I'm saying that I want you. I just stop talking now. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Maserana's Letheline. Gascard! Hawk! What are you doing here? Do you have something? My mother's gone. She received white lilies this morning. So soon? I wasn't expecting this. Remember Alessa, the woman you rescued? Just as I predicted, he took her not long after you found us. I have enough of her blood for one ritual. I can use it to track them. It will lead us straight to the killer. You could have tracked the killer this whole time. Why haven't you done it? I lost the power to confront him when you destroyed my shades. But with your help, we could go now. He'll be no match for us. Tracking a lesser will require you to use blood magic, won't it? Yes, Sarah. I know of no other way. Use the blood. I need to find my mother. Stand back. 
If there is anything left of Alessa in this world, this ritual will find it. Haven't we been here before? I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Hmm. Blood there. More blood. They are here somewhere. I'm guessing this leads somewhere. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Mother! Alessa! I know this locket. It belongs to Mother. this the woman in the painting she almost looks like mother a shrine dedicated to a wife a sister i need to find her now i was wondering when you'd show up Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? Quentin! Gascar, so, you've reached me after all these years. I figured you gave up. Why? Are you afraid? Hoping Gascard would have forgotten what you did? Afraid? Of Gascard? <laughs> no. Gascard respects me too much to kill me. Shut up. I am going to learn your secrets, old man. Everything you kept from me. Sorry to interrupt this lovely student-teacher reunion, but where is my mother? Listen to me. Together we can defeat Quentin. Once he's dead, you'll have your mother back. And his research and writings will be mine. I'm sorry, Gascard. When my wife died, I lost all hope. I wasn't able to be the mentor you deserved. But now, my work is finished. And I can teach you as I always meant to. Come back to me, Gascard. You'll let me be part of this. You'll teach me the secrets of necromancy. 
I will keep nothing from you. Don't you see what he's done? What part of this is worth having? To coax life from dead flesh. I always imagined it would be glorious. You're right. This is monstrous. You disappoint me, Gascard. I always thought you, of all people, would understand. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. You'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. You can say that over and over, but it won't change anything. <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key! Magic didn't kill Mother. A madman did. He could have just as easily killed her with a knife. 
You said she was used. This goes beyond just murder. It, it's desecration. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. Bethany needs to be told. I'll send a message. Hopefully it will reach her wherever she is. Take care, my boy. I... I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was, not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think, you stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. Arabalas, Marvinan. I'm glad you're here, Meryl. Leandra is in a better place now. She's with the Maker. Or with Falandine. You never know. <laughs>